In this video, I will show you how to download and install Microsoft SQL Server 2008 Management Studio Express. For this, we will need the SQL Server itself. SQL Server 2008 R2 requires .NET Framework 2.0 or later. It also requires a Windows username and password. If you already have .NET Framework 4.0 or later installed in your computer, it should be okay. If you want to find out how to create a Windows username or password, please check my other video. I also put a link in the description. So let's start by downloading and installing SQL Server 2008 R2 Express. We can download the 32 or the 64-bit version depending on the operating system we have. Mine is a 64-bit Windows 7 OS. In your internet browser, type in SQL Server 2008 and hit enter. The second result should be SQL Server 2008 R2. Go ahead and click it. Click download. Check SQL EXPR 64 ENU and hit next. I already have it in my computer, so I will double-click the installer. Click Run. I don't have any server installed, so I will choose New Installation. This is a standard Microsoft license. If you want to continue with the installation, you will have to agree with these terms. After reading this, if you are OK with it, check I accept and hit next. If you have enough space on drive C, leave the installation path as it is. Leave all the features checked and click Next. At Named Instance, you can change the instance name. Put a different name, but try to write it down on a piece of paper or to memorize it, just in case. And again, if there is enough disk space on drive C, leave the default root directory. Hit Next. Set startup type as automatic for SQL Server Browser and then hit Next. At the Database Engine configuration, choose Mixed Mode so you can have both Windows and SQL authentication. And of course, do not forget the password you entered. You'll have the current user selected by default. Hit Next. I don't want to send any error reports. I will just hit Next. The installation completed successfully. You can now click Close. Also, please close the SQL Server installation window. Time to install SQL Management Studio. I'll go to the same Microsoft link, but this time I will look for the executable file called SQL Management Studio 64 ENU. After the download is complete, go to the installer and run it. Click Run. We'll be adding features to the existing installation, so click the first option.
at installation type, just leave it at new installation or add features. That way it will install shared components such as SQL Management Studio. Click Next. Check I accept the license terms and click Next. There is no need to change instances, leave them as default. And hit Next. The steps are basically the same as the ones from SQL Server. Leave this unchecked and hit Next. and the installation completed successfully. A system restart is recommended. Although it wasn't clear on the 64-bit operating system, the installers quickly showed us a warning. It took only a fraction of a second, so it's easy to miss it. But it was there. That message means we need to unlock a port for remote access. It was locked down by our Windows firewall. When we have it unlocked, our server will work properly. And in case we ever need to establish remote connections, we will do that without any problems. So after rebooting the system, we need to open the port in the firewall. We do that by clicking on the Windows icon, then on Search. Type in Windows Firewall, then select the one without advanced security. Click on Allow a program or feature through Windows Firewall. You need to click on Change Settings only in case you are using Firewall for the first time. Now click on Allow another program. Hit Browse. Go to Drive C, then Program Files. Microsoft SQL Server. Then go to the server created during the installation. MS SQL and then the bin folder. Look for an executable file called SQL ACRVR. Click open. Now hit add. And now SQL Server is added to our list so other programs can communicate to it. Click OK. Now we can start the SQL Server Management Studio. So go to All Programs, Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2, SQL Management Studio. In order to connect to the server, we have to enter the server name. It's already typed in. It has dot backslash in front of it. Another option would have been localhost backslash and then server name. In case your server name field is empty, just type in dot backslash or localhost backslash and then the server name you created during the installation. Now click connect. As you can see, the package came with only four system databases. That's what you get if you take the free version. Even so, you can do many things with this program. If you want to disconnect, please hit the disconnect icon. And then you can close the Management Studio program. And that's it. That's all you need to know in case you want to install and open SQL Server 2008 R2 Management Studio Express.